Next is the interior review about this car. The door here is quite heavy. The handle inside it's made by hard plastic. It's soft touch here, and the material here is made by a fabric material. Here is power windows, window lock, and here is the door lock. This car is a uh, have an automatic transmission. And as you can see here, there's, there is a footrest in there. There is also a rear view mirror setting. Unfortunately, it's not retractable. And there is a alarm in there and there is a turbo timer stop in there. Below here, there is a glass holder and also a door storage in there. The car seat is made by fabric material and it's actually quite comfy and the car seat can be adjusted manually. For the steering wheel, it's covered by a leather so it's quite comfy. Unfortunately here, it's not equipped with airbag safety here. And the user interface of this car is quite simple. There is a RPM meter in there. A speedometer in there, fuel indicator, and other information too. Next is the car dashboard. As you can see here, the dashboard is made by hard plastic. There are four icons here, uh, and there are uh, there is a icon controller too here. And it's also have a digital monitor with a radio and other entertainment system. Here is the time, time, time indicator. Uh, here is the glass holder. The transmission here is automatic. And here is the handbrake. And here is the car storage. For the passenger seat, there is a power window in here as you can see and below that there is a glass holder and a door storage. There is a seat pocket in here too with uh, and the seat it's actually quite comfy and it's already equipped with headrest and here is the view from the back seat.